So 6M uh, will be one of the first ISM approved uh, ATMP facility which will be set up in Odisha. And uh, it's a watershed moment for us because it will lead to a lot of ecosystem development for semiconductors and electronics industries in, in, in Bhuvaneshwar. So land has already been allotted. It's a 2,000 crore project. Uh, the promoters are delighted with the support that they have received both from the Government of India, India Semiconductor Mission, as well as from the Government of Odisha. Uh, prior to that, RIR Power Semiconductors was uh, approved by the state government and the project is likely to start production in the next three to four months. We have another uh, very important project which is 3D GS which has also been approved by the India Semiconductor Mission. It's a, re it's a revolutionary technology the, using the glass substrate for packaging which again uh, you know will position Odisha as one of the front runners as far as semiconductor development is concerned in India. So like the uh, renewable energy and the cheap uh, production in this, in this new projects, so what type of chips is going to produce? So there, this one is a silicon carbide uh, project, they will be manufacturing various devices, uh, both RIR and 6M. 3DGS as I mentioned is a totally new technology and uh, it will have a lot of demand across the world. So as I said, these will place Odisha, you know, as one of the front runners in terms of uh, the technology that is being used for sem semiconductors. We also have a few other projects which are in the pipeline, which are being evaluated currently. And uh, the way we have planned, we, we are quite sure that we will be able to establish Bhuvaneshwar as one of the leading hubs uh, for the semiconductor industries in the country. So when the government came in the power, the policy has been changed? Yes, in fact, uh, it was Honorable Chief Minister's personal interest and direction that we revise the semiconductor policy. S semiconductors, electronics and IT are one of his very high priority areas because uh, he says that they have the potential of creating a lot of jobs, you know, for our educated youth. So we have very substantially revised our semiconductor policy and brought it out. The operational guidelines have also been brought out. So also with the IT policy. IT policy has also been substantially revised and we are coming out with two new policies for GCCs and FinTech policy. Uh, we've also brought out an AI policy. In fact, we were the first state in the country to bring out a policy for artificial intelligence. 